And that is a huge number. Dr. Michael Siebert is a pediatric infectious disease specialist with Children's Health in Dallas. Appreciate you being here tonight. You think about that large number of kids unvaccinated in a relatively short amount of time mm -hmm. since 2000. Okay, this is your chance. What would you say to parents? Vac well, we know you're gonna say it's vaccinate, but why? This is about protecting your child. Okay. Um, you never know when your child may be exposed to a disease like measles. Most of us would never have thought that Disneyland, a trip there to right. the Magic Kingdom, would be uh, an exposure to measles. But now we see this blossoming number of cases. Uh, the measles vaccine is extremely effective in preventing measles. And uh, quite often in pediatrics, when we think about trying to prevent an infection, uh, we tell people to wash their hands, mm -hmm. uh, cover their cough. With measles, uh, you need to go beyond that because uh, measles spreads in uh, an extremely contagious manner. It uh, stays, the virus stays suspended in the air for potentially hours after uh, a patient uh, with measles has coughed. And uh, you may be exposed to it without uh, that sort of direct coughing or sneezing uh, that we think of transmitting other viruses. So the way you protect yourself is with vaccine and the way you protect your children. Well, and that's why Disneyland kind of became ground zero, mm -hmm. it seems like in this most recent outbreak because people were there and then they traveled to all these you know different parts of the country and then it, it spread. But what do you tell parents who say, you know what, vaccines cause uh, autism and all sorts of other issues who are just saying, no, I'm, I'm not going to do it? Mm -hmm. Well, we know now from um, many studies that have been done over the past 15 years that uh, vaccines, particularly MMR, mm -hmm. uh, does not cause uh, autism. But you uh, get on Facebook, been, and you, I'm guaranteeing after this interview, people that, will be online yes. going, what you, are you, you talking about? You will read about? that uh, online. Yeah. However, uh, the way to... Uh, established um, medical facts regarding uh, causation of uh, a process such as autism spectrum disorder is with a scientific study. And the scientific studies have been quite conclusive in demonstrating no link between the MMR vaccine uh, and autism. There are side effects of uh, vaccines. Uh, so uh, about one in six children who get the measles vaccine will develop a fever uh, about a week or two after receiving it. Uh, and about one in 20 will develop a mild rash. Uh, those are effects that we expect to see. Uh, however, it's important to remember that uh, the measles vaccine is much safer than the measles uh, virus infection itself. Right. That's a very serious infection. S where oh, no, I was saying, go ahead, explain. Yes. So um, people think uh, often of measles as a disease that uh, kids get over in a couple of days or a week where they're uh, have a bad uh, rash and are miserable. But what they don't remember is that measles kills children also. Uh, of uh, a thousand kids who uh, develop measles, we expect one or two will die, even previously healthy kids. Uh, they develop pneumonia, they develop encephalitis, which is swelling of the brain, and those can be fatal conditions. And uh, we're trying to protect kids from those known uh, all too frequent complications of measles. So is it the age of one that a child can be vaccinated with the, the MMR can yes, get this? Yes, they should get their first dose of measles vaccine between the age of 12 months and 15 months. So it's really scary for those little ones then to be around children who are not vaccinated, around people who are not vaccinated. Yes, they're vulnerable and the only way that we can protect them is by uh, having a high level of immunization in the community uh, around those children. So should it go as far as how, how some clinics are doing now, no shots, no service? Should doctors and clinics turn people away who don't vaccinate their children? I personally believe that we have a responsibility to protect and take care of uh, any child, regardless of the decision mm -hmm. that that parent makes. Uh, I know there are some clinics who have chosen not to do that. At mm -hmm. Children's Health, we will take care of any uh, child. However, we uh, do strongly recommend to parents uh, and to, we'll talk through uh, with them the uh, benefits and rationale behind vaccination. But I would not personally take that as a reason to uh, refuse to see a child. All right, well, doctor, we appreciate it because this could be another tough year. The numbers are already high, so we'll keep watching it. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very much. And helping us let parents know about this. Thank you.